good morning. So today's video is going to be pretty short. Um, we haven't really been able to sit down and make any real videos lately because we've had so much going on. I've either been flying out to work or recently, if you guys saw our last video, we started getting scuba certified, which is super exciting for us. Um, and the whole reason why is because we are headed back to Puerto Vallarta, or the area, I suppose, in two weeks, under two weeks, on the 26th. So we are hoping to do some scuba diving while we're there. Um, not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Ooh. This will be the last big video uh, before we go and until we get back. Because next weekend we're going to Buffalo, Wyoming to do our open water dive. These dives. It's going to be dark. It's going to be murky. The whole reason why we're going back to Puerto Vallarta is so we can do some scuba diving, hopefully, fingers crossed. Scuba diving, um, surfing, and we're going to eat tacos and drink margaritas, and that's all we want to do. Um, so our game plan is we are going to fly into Puerto Vallarta. One of the things that we did this time, um, just like in Turkey, is we rented a car. Uh, since we went to Turkey, I have gotten the American Express Platinum card. Um, the offers were just a little bit, a little bit too attractive to avoid. Um, I got an offer in the mail for 150,000 points, which hopefully equates to $1,500 in, in flights or travel or whatever. I actually did have to fight with them a little bit because they only gave me 100,000 points. And make sure you hang on to your offer because they asked about it, and luckily I recycle and I don't ever empty my recycling that's in my house, in here. Um, so, through American Express we actually booked a rental car uh, for the entire time that we are in Mexico, which we are going to be there for, oh gosh, what, like nine days, eight or nine days, uh, and it was only $250. One of the nice things that I'm excited to try out is that American Express actually gives you rental car coverage, at least in Mexico. Um, there's a couple countries that they don't. But I'm hoping that's going to save some money. We're going to fly to the Puerto Vallarta Airport, and then we are going to drive up to Punta Mita for a night where we will stay in an all-inclusive, just one night. Um, we weren't certain whether or not we'd want to drive all the way up to our first real location, uh, so we figured halfway in between would work out perfect. So, we can meet that the first night, and then we are going to drive up the coast to Sayulita and stay there for a few days. Then we have a rental, or a hotel, that is actually made out of teal barrels, and I'm so excited about this, because I've never gotten to really stay in a weird Airbnb yet. Um, so we rented a tequila barrel hotel. So we're ready to say that. Thank you. We booked. We booked a tequila barrel hotel. Um, so we're gonna stay there, and then I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. I keep seeing all these different travel vloggers and how comfortable they are with just booking hotels or Airbnbs randomly, flying by the seat of their pants, and that is 100% not me. Uh, in all my videos, you can see my whiteboard up in the background with the entire game plan. Uh, so I'm a planner. I 100% that is my favorite thing is the planning. So this trip is going to be a break out of the mold because honestly I don't know if that's actually if people can actually do that or if it takes years of cultivating this travel uh, ability to be able to just randomly book an Airbnb while they're driving to it. It just, it doesn't compute, it doesn't compute in my head, and one of the things that always scares me when we go on vacation, or anywhere, period, is the idea of not getting stranded. I, oh god, the idea that I won't, I don't know where I'm going to sleep that night just causes, and you can see I'm so stressed out just thinking about it. 
So this is this is the trip we're gonna we're gonna break out of the mold. Um, and you know, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. At least in Mexico, I mean, you can pretty much book a hotel anywhere. But we're gonna try and do the whole Airbnb thing. But the first few days, we already have it planned out. Um, it's after tequila that I don't know where we're going. We might go to San Blas. Um, we might go down to Papas. I don't know if it's Papas, but this this mountain town, uh, something de Allende. Uh, it's Papas de Allende. I don't know. It's something mountains. Um, I don't know. We might just go back to Florida. But I'm super, super, uh, I don't want to say nervous. Nervous is not the, not the correct word for this, but I'm, I just, I just, I don't believe that people can just do this. And I love watching people, like, I mean, you look at Kara and Nate, or you look at Tim and Finn, and they just have it figured out so well. And... Uh, it, I don't believe it. I can't believe it. I love it. I don't want to be that person, but I'm a planner, 100%. We're going to be that person, but we're going to find out. This is going to be the trip where we find out because the idea of being able to drive and then randomly decide that you want to stay in this place just is so attractive to me because I don't know about you guys on traveling but I there have been places where I wanted to just stay put for a day so badly but we already had plans and a hotel booked farther down the road and I would I would love to be able to do this and I know that not every every Airbnb is going to be perfect um or it's not going to work out always, but I keep thinking back to France. Um, when we went to Normandy and we wanted to stay the night, and we couldn't because the both Airbnbs I reached out to did not respond. So we ended up back on the train back to Paris, and that just kind of stuck. But there was, there was a lot that was going on with that. I, don't know. I mean, you know, go to Normandy and January, February, and expect to have all the museums open. They want it. So that's, that's a story for another day. I mean, no big deal. But back to the whole booking and Airbnb, I am so worried that's going to happen again. But it's okay. Different country. We're going to figure it out. I'm actually really excited not to have this all the way planned. I don't know if it's going to make the trip better or more stressful, but we're going to give it a shot.